Okay, well, welcome everybody. As I said, I'm Gretchen Winters, uh, Director of Marketing with Birch Travel. Welcome on behalf of Birch Travel and Pegasus Travel. We're happy that you're able to join us this evening. I think this will be a fantastic presentation, kind of what's available in our own backyard. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, over the years, everybody thinks, okay, we're going to travel internationally, but now with COVID and everybody kind of staying closer to home, we're realizing all the wonderful things there are to see and do um, in the US and North America. So Matt is our account manager with Globus um, and he's gonna explain to you all the great opportunities and options that they offer for um, US tours, escorted um, US tours and places to visit. And I think one of the highlights is national parks because those are very popular and very hard to get reservations. So um, I think uh, Globus is a great way to explore those. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Matt, and I'll kind of keep an eye on the chat box or if we have any other people joining us. So I'm going to mute myself, which is a joy to a lot of people I know. They like when I'm muted. <laughs> and I'll turn it over to you. Go ahead, Matt. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Gretchen. And thanks everybody for tuning in. It's so great to be here. And I think Gretchen, you really said it uh, best in your opening remarks there where um, there is still, you know, some apprehension about traveling outside of the US with, you know, returning uh, things like that. And what better way to experience, you know, our backyard than now? There's never been a better time. The crowds are still less. So we have a variety of ways for you to explore the US that I'm really, really excited to share uh, with you. So these again are escorted tours like Gretchen mentioned here in the opening. So this is going to be a group tour where you will be on board a motor coach touring a specific destination of your choosing. So I have a lot of really beautiful pictures. So during the presentation, uh, I'm gonna turn off my video so you don't have to feel like you have to look at me or anything like that. You can just focus on all the, the beautiful places we're gonna talk about here. But again, put anything in the chat, Gretchen's gonna monitor that. So I'm happy to stop and answer any questions as they come up. But with that, let's go ahead and dive into North America here. So let's talk about it. So North America, there really is so much to discover and we say it, right, but sea to shining sea, truly, without crossing the pond or taking a long uh, plane ride, whatever it may be. So between those national parks that we're gonna talk about, you've got some great emerging cities. How about some tiny historic towns as well, right? We've got everything in between for you to see right here in your own backyard. We've got those bucket list destinations. So we're talking our neighbors to north up in Canada today, or maybe you wanna visit the West Coast in California, the history and the chowder and things like that out on the East Coast with New England. Maybe you wanna do the Yukon as part of a trip up to Alaska. Whatever it is, we've got that for you. And we really do invite you to sit back, relax and discover all we have to offer you right outside your door here in the United States. Now, some of the benefits of touring here within the United States, it eliminates that long flight. We have a great advantage here in the Midwest because it's about three hours out to the West Coast, three hours out to the East Coast, so really convenient flights. But another great one I think you underestimate, it eliminates the need for driving. So board our luxury motor coaches, you can just sit back and enjoy the beautiful scenery. You've got a stress-free ride and the best part of all, you've got free Wi-Fi uh, to stay in contact and make all your friends and relatives back home jealous of all the beautiful national parks and sites that you are seeing. So we really do have wonderfully planned tours. We've got hand selected hotels for you so you don't have to do those hundreds or close to hundreds of years of experience, you know, creating these itineraries. So the process is really streamlined by now. And our expert tour directors, I know the Burst Travel Advisors there, they're all really well versed in our product. Uh, Gretchen can attest to this as well. But the tour director really erases all the hassles that vacation can bring to you while you get to, again, sit back, relax, and then just enjoy all the beautiful scenery that North America has to offer. Another great, huge advantage of traveling with Globus or Cosmos here in the United States, you don't have to worry about standing in line. So if there's a national park or there's a specific destination, maybe Pearl Harbor, things like that, we have special access because of our buying power where you do not have to spend your vacation waiting in line. We call it the VIP happy line. So you get to wave to everybody as they 
uh, are standing in line, you go into the attraction, you are on your way to, to see whatever it is, and then on with your vacation. So really makes it easy from you. People love the VIP line. Now, Gretchen mentioned here that I'm with Globus. So we are the Globus family of brands. So we really do travel worldwide, but we're gonna talk about North America. So you've got 93 years of experience here with the Globus family of brands. So you know you can trust us when you book your trip to travel wherever it is with us. Now talking specifically about North America, how many tours do we offer here? We've got 81 US and Canada tours, and we have kind of a, a variety of travel styles. So I wanted to mention those as well. So Globus, which is our first class escorted motor coach touring, that's gonna be the best hotels, the most meals, the most inclusions, really everything taken care of for you on a Globus tour. Our newest product, we have Choice Touring by Globus, which I'll mention at the end of the webinar. We have one uh, Scape, and then we have 28 Cosmos tours, which Cosmos is our value brand. So if you're somebody who's really looking for a great value to get out and explore North America, or maybe you want a little more free time built into your vacation, Cosmos is a great place to start. And you can see here, uh, we do have a lot worldwide I mentioned. So we have 81 right here in our backyard compared to 157 that we have in Europe. We have a plethora of options, no shortage of itineraries for you to choose from here. I'm so excited to share this with you. I've touched on these a little bit, but again, why would you tour America with Globus or Cosmos rather than do it on your own? Really these three things I wanted to highlight and they really bring to light what it is to tour and why it's a great option for you. So the first one, again, perfectly planned logistics. So this is gonna maximize your time in the parks. You can see uh, Bryce Canyon National Park right here on your screen. So you don't wanna wander around the park just aimlessly and then darn it, you have to exit it. We're gonna make sure that you hit the must-see sites in these parks and also, should anything arise, you know, uh, changes due to weather or area closures, things like that, we're going to navigate those changes so that your vacation is impacted as minimally as possible. If you're on your own, you have to sort and do all of those things on your own. Number two, we are the largest tour operator to the national parks. So we have so many parks that we do visit, but we have guaranteed availability. I love how Gretchen mentioned this in her opening too, but we've got the accommodations already set for you in the park. Many of these national parks, especially with the backup from the pandemic, are selling out years in advance. So a lot of times when you plan something, it's too late for you. You don't have to worry about that with Globus or Cosmos. And then three, I can't stress this one enough, our tour directors are absolutely amazing. So not only are you gonna visit these amazing sites and parks and things like that, but you're gonna be escorted by a tour director who is local to these areas, and they're gonna bring these parks and these experiences to life for you and paint it in a direction in a way that you could never get on your own. They're gonna tell you the history of the area. They're gonna tell you stories, and they're gonna make you appreciate this area even more. Our tour directors really are phenomenal and they add so much to a vacation. I just love when I tour with them because you really, I mean, you can't even remember everything at the end of a tour that you've learned. It's that good. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna talk, take you through the top five Cosmos tours and the top five Globus tours. Again, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. I'm more than happy to stop and answer them as we go. But this is really the fun part here. I'm excited to share these beautiful destinations with you. Your screen here, you can see pictured is Grand Teton National Park. I would much rather be there right now than the snowy Midwest. I'm sure you can all agree. And this next destination, number five on the top five list, I think we can all agree we wanna be there immensely. So number five here, we've got Hawaiian Islands. As part of this tour, you can see on your screen there, there's an opportunity to visit Pearl Harbor and the USS Arizona Memorial. You're also gonna visit Hawaii Volcano National Park, along with Waimea Canyon, Isle Valley on the island of Maui, and the beautiful town, one of my favorites, Lahaina on the island of Maui as well. 
Now there's great hotels as part of this, and you're gonna get a, a standard garden view, but you also have the ability to upgrade your hotels, I want you to know as well. So if you wanted to upgrade to an ocean view, you do have that ability, so keep that in mind. And what's really unique about this tour, again, Cosmos does incorporate more free time uh, than Globus will into a tour, but on each of the islands, so you've got um, Oahu that you're gonna be on, you've got Maui, you've got the big island, and then you've got Kauai. You have at least one full day of leisure on each island to fill your day with as little or as much as you would like to do. So if you're somebody who just wants to go to Hawaii and relax on a beach, that's a great option for you. But we do offer a lot of optional excursions that you can add on to your vacation during these free days if you do want to be busy. So maybe it's a helicopter ride, which I have done the helicopter ride around Maui. It is one of the best experiences of my life. It's phenomenal. I highly recommend that if you are over in Hawaii. But you also have a, a full day, uh, including zip lighting. You can go visit the waterfalls and experience a lunch. Can't go to Hawaii without a sunset cruise and dinner with entertainment local to Hawaii. There's some day cruises you can do. Again, as much as you want or as little as you want, you can really uh, pick and choose as part of this vacation. Another opportunity as part of this tour, we know that uh, car rentals can be a bit difficult during this time and quite expensive as well. So touring with Cosmos is going to eliminate the need for you to have a rental car and get around Island Island by yourself. We're going to take care of that. So highlighting again, one of the stops and sorry, I was like, where's the map? No wonder it is. I just didn't hit the next button to get the map. So quickly there, you can see that you'll start uh, on Oahu, go over to the big island, visit Kauai and then Maui as well. Sounds pretty perfect to me right now. But one of the stops here on the tour is Volcano National Park which when you land on the big island of Hawaii, you will go over and visit the Volcano National Park, enjoy all of its beautiful scenery. But great thing, you're gonna have three island, or three nights, excuse me, here on the sunny side of Hawaii, again, with plenty of chill time, if that is what you choose to do. So switching complete sides of the country here, number four of our top five is classic New England. Oh my goodness, this picture. This has been on my bucket list and I absolutely need to do this. If you're in Minnesota, I think most of you are, you can just picture the fresh smell of fall in the air and the crisp leaves as they crunch under your feet. This tour really brings it to life. This is a nine day tour here in and out of Boston, focusing of course on the fall foliage. So travel dates for this tour are gonna be September through mid-October to catch those colors in their peak form. Some of the highlights here with this tour are going to include Acadia National Park. We're also going to visit a rural dairy farm in Vermont, a really cool, uh, unique experience. There's some sightseeing in the town of Hyannis, as well as a visit out to Provincetown and the tip of the Cape out there on the water. Really, really cool. We also visit a sugar house to learn about uh, syrup making and things like that. That is included. And what I love about this tour is you start in the big city of Boston, we're going to blend the stories and history that Boston has to offer, but also go into those more remote areas of uh, Maine and Vermont and um, New Hampshire as well. So you have that. So really, really cool experience there. Again, you know, you're going to be able to take in the scenery on the coast. So those lighthouses that you always imagine, you're going to see those covered bridges, rocky shorelines. I'm a foodie, so I always have to talk about food as well. So how about some optional lobster bake and feast? You have that. There's an optional whale watching excursion uh, and a nature cruise. So again, plenty of time to relax and explore on your own. You can go and discover those charming local restaurants and visit the picturesque towns as part of this tour. I said, we're gonna visit a rural dairy farm there in Vermont. So this is the farm you're gonna visit. You're not there just for the fall colors. We're gonna mix it all in for you. So here, visit this quaint working farm and living museum here in Vermont to learn about it and their operation, of course. All right, so let's get into some of the national parks now too, because I love that. Acadia is part of this one. We're switching back coast, but here is highlights of the Canyonlands. I love this itinerary. You can see that 
on your screen there. It's in and out of Las Vegas as part of a seven night journey. And also I'll put in a little plug as well. You can do pre or post nights in Las Vegas. So if you wanted to go in early and spend a few nights in Las Vegas, you can work with your travel advisor there at Burst Travel to do that. They are very well versed in our product. Maybe you wanna have some time at the end of a vacation to just kind of relax. You can stay in Vegas and do that as part of this tour as well. Now, great experience with this tour. It's gonna to explore the big three national parks closest, closest to Viva Las Vegas. First up, you've got Grand Canyon National Park. How about Bryce Canyon? And I believe that Bursch's own Miss Lee Hurd is actually in or was in recently this week, Zion National Park Drive. And I think I saw a little video from her. It was absolutely stunning. Is that right, Gretchen? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I was just going to say that she's she's visited quite a few of the national parks. So we've got our own in-house expert. But yeah, she was there and mm -hmm. her pictures were spectacular. The weather, weather was beautiful and there weren't many crowds. So it was really a, a great trip for them. It was. It kind of looked like a movie. She was filming as she was driving through the road. It was really, really beautiful there. Yeah, that's so. on our Facebook page. So check it out. Go there. Yes. That Birch video. Travel on Facebook. You will not regret it. It's a beautiful video. So of course, with this tour, we're going to include, you know, visits to those three parks, but we've also got a really special, unique experience to visit Monument Valley. Here, you're going to be taken around in a four-wheel drive vehicle, like kind of a, like an off-road vehicle, um, think like Jeep type, with a Navajo guide. Now, this area is only accessible via a Navajo guide. They still own the land. So you cannot just go and visit it on your own, but they're gonna take you through Monument Value or Valley, excuse me, and really kind of guide you through there, tell you about their culture and the history of that area. It's really a unique experience. So I would love for you to be able to experience that. You also are able to visit Glen Canyon Dam in Lake Powell as well. Here, there's an optional flight seeing excursion over the heart of the Grand Canyon to take in those remarkable views. You're going to have some time to hike in your free time or, again, explore as little as you want. If you want to take it easy, you can do that as well. This one, I'll tell you, is a great, great value. So if you're a traveler who may be um, looking more at, at, at price or a little more free time, look at highlights of the Canyonland because this tour really does deliver. Now, just a little fun fact here for the, the national parks as well. You see here pictured is the, um, Grand, the Grand Canyon, but it actually can be 20 degrees warmer at the Colorado River than at the rim of the canyon. I mean, that is pretty remarkable to me. And, you know, hearing stories from our tour directors, again, they make it really special. But because of the beauty and how remarkable it is, a lot of times a first time visitor, you know, as they see something like this in person, they go up to the rim here of the canyon and it's so beautiful that they're moved to tears. We actually have a tour director, his name is Steve Austin. He's been with us for many, many years, led many groups through the national parks. And that is still one of his favorite memories of taking clients to these national parks is their wonderment at the beauty and all that the national parks have to offer. Now, next up, I really, really love this tour. So let's look at this one, Exploring Nash America's National Parks. And let me put it up on your screen. So pictured here is Arches National Park, which is one of the ones that you'll have an opportunity to visit on this tour. But will you look at that? I think this perfectly explains how or why you should do a tour with Cosmos or Globus. Look at how much is packed into this two week adventure. So this is a 15 day tour. So kind of the, the um, granddaddy of them all, I say of two and with a 15 day tour. Again, this one starts and ends with a night in Las Vegas, but we're gonna take you, you know, from the Grand Canyon up to Mount Rushmore. We're gonna take you from Cody to Yellowstone You've got Grand Tetons in there, as well as, again, arches pictured here on your screen and starting and ending, as I mentioned, in Las Vegas. Here, you're going to have conveniently located hotels, which another selling point, many of them are located right in these national parks. You can explore on your own uh, very conveniently. 
we all want some relaxation. We don't think of pool time right now in Minnesota, of course, but many of the uh, hotels do include a pool. So make sure you pack that swimming suit to relax and, un and uh, unwind after a full day of taking in these national parks. Again, totally highlighting here. Could you imagine the time it would take you to organize something like this on your own? The miles on your car, making reservations at a hotel, making sure you had places to stop and eat along the way. Again, here, the Globus family is gonna take care of all those pain points for you. So you just have to sit back, relax, and have your camera ready to snap these amazing photos at every turn. Again, one of the highlights here, this picture is absolutely stunning, I think. This is Yellowstone pictured here at sunset. Great opportunity, of course, with Yellowstone too, and many of these national parks, is to see a variety of wildlife. So you're talking moose, you're talking bison, how about some elk, deer, maybe if you're lucky, a bighorn sheep or a wolf. You've got some bears mixed in there, fox, coyote, and even some of our little chompers, the beavers. So, so many varieties of wildlife and experiences available to you potentially within these national park walls as well. So drum roll, number one tour on our top five for Cosmos tours throughout the US, America's Greatest Treasures. As part of this one, you can see here, it is Rapid City to Salt Lake City. And if you would like, again, with those pre and post nights, this tour actually has an option to start in Denver. If you haven't been to Denver, it is beautiful. I highly recommend that. So you can extend your trip and start this tour in Denver and then get over to uh, Rapid City to meet the rest of them, where, guess what? Conveniently located burst travel right there in Rapid City. How about that? Again, this tour, you can see it on your screen. Some of the visits, you've got those comfortable and well-located hotels, multiple national parks, looking at, again, Yellowstone that we just talked about, uh, Teton taking in Mount Rushmore. So those national parks, but also, again, free time that I keep mentioning over and over. Some of the optional excursions that you can do on this itinerary would range from a barbecue cookout, including a covered wagon ride and entertainment, really give a taste of the local kind of wild, wild west flavor out in this uh, region. And then maybe you wanna do a rafting float trip, or again, there will be plenty more to choose from. So those are our top five Cosmos itineraries. I love sharing those. So let's talk about that here. We're gonna move into Globus again. I've really talked about it. We're gonna take care of everything for you, right? So when we think of the perfect vacation, we're talking about great hotels, amazing food, of course, because you gotta fill your belly up with local treats, incredible sightseeing, like we've shown you in pictures with the national parks, but really getting out and creating memories. I think that's certainly what I've missed. And I think we all have with the pandemic is many of you have probably had delayed plans, things like that just to get out and see the uh, beauty again, you know, within the world. So we've got those beautiful motor coaches with the Wi-Fi hotels in the heart of the destination. And again, there is still some free time with Globus. If you want to go out and explore a local town and things like that, it's gonna be conveniently located for you. But really what is unique to Globus here, I love this picture, is our local favorites. So what are local favorites? These are recommendations you would get from locals. If you're in a destination, you said, hey, you know what, I'm visiting your town, what should I do? We're gonna include these things again at no additional cost as part of your tour for you to do included with the tour. And you really will love these, again, not just because they are included, but they are unique experiences, which many people come home raving about, and you've got those pictures and memories to talk about years down the road. Remember when we did this tour with Globus and we got to do this experience, you know, here pictured on your screen is one of the local favorites we include as well, uh, Antelope, Antelope Slot Canyon there. So we actually do visit this and you learn about it, a, a great opportunity there. And I know that was growing up, always one of the backgrounds on my computer was Antelope Canyon right there. But enough about that. Let's talk about our top five Globus North America tours, because there is some great opportunities and I'm excited to share these with you too. So pictured here, I have to get here. It is on my bucket list. I think this picture is absolutely stunning. 
This is Banff National Park, if you have never been there or curious where this was. So number five on our countdown here, we're gonna cross the border, our friends up in Canada. Eh? Let's learn about it. Majestic Rockies. So this is a really, really popular tour. And it is 11 days starting in Vancouver. Let me put that up on your screen, sorry about that. So Vancouver and makes its way eastward towards Calgary. Some of the highlights here include a private dinner. I love this one at the greenhouse at Bouchart Gardens. If you have not seen the, gar the gardens there, they're phenomenal. The beauty with the flowers, they're just everywhere. You can never get bored and you'll take tons of pictures there, but we include a dinner there at their uh, greenhouse after you can take pictures of those beautiful flowers. We also include a sunny gondola, gondola ride, excuse me, and breakfast atop Vamps Sulphur Mountain. How about a panoramic cruise along the crystal waters of Maline Lake, which is pictured here in the Jasper National Park area in the province of Alberta. But then I also love this one too. So we do a cruise to the beautiful remote Spirit Island. And this is one of Canada's most photographed places. Now there's a lot to do, but again, free time. So you do have some free time in Victoria, Whistler, and along with Jasper to enjoy some of those optional excursions. If you didn't wanna do anything, you certainly do not have to. You can totally explore the town or just sit back and relax as well. Now, Globus, I told you they are um, first class hotel properties located right in the heart of these towns. So, you know, attractions, restaurants, things like that are just steps outside of the front doors of these hotels as part of the Globus portfolio. But one I really wanted to highlight here is a two night stay as part of this tour at the world renowned Fairmont Chateau Whistler. Let's talk about some of the options you can do as part of this tour. Again, whale watching, flight seeing, zip lining, canoeing, or a wildlife adventure. There's really something for everybody is part of this tour to take in. If you've never been to this area, it's breathtaking, but you've got uh, British Columbia and Alberta that you really get to kind of see up close and personal. I mentioned Jasper that you're gonna get to visit, but this is actually the national park that is largest uh, in Canada and home to the world famous Columbia ice fields. If you're not familiar with the Columbia ice fields here, this is one of the only ice fields in the world that is accessible by road. And this is a wonderful, remarkable experience that you'll get to do. Uh, in some parts, these, these ice fields are up to 700 feet deep. So you take this ice explorer out and have a local guide there to tell you about this region and about the ice fields. Really, really cool experience there with the ice fields. But let's move on. Again, and, and I kind of want to point this out as well because I think it's a, a great example. Maybe there's something you find in the Globus portfolio, um, but you're like, that's, that's not quite what I'm looking for. I want a little more free time. So a lot of you know a Globus tour will have something really comparable on the Cosmo side. So keep that in mind as well. So if you're curious, reach out to your travel advisor there if you're like, hey, you know, I know there's this Globus tour, is there anything else? Or vice versa, hey, I know there's this Cosmos tour, but maybe I'm looking you know, to elevate my vacation experience a little bit, have um, a little more luxury at my hotels, a little more inclusions, things like that. Your Verse Travel Advisor is perfect for that because they will be able to give you the best option for you. But we talked about it with Classic New England. This one is Classic Fall Foliage, but with Globus. So again, highlighting the classic fall foliage colors out on the East Coast. I actually had um, somebody in the industry, she did this to her last fall. And I'm telling you, her pictures are this stunning. It really does look like that. So if you're like, mm, I'm skeptical, no. The fall colors are mind blowing out in this region. So the oaks, the poplars, the mapler, maples that line these country highways, Yes, it is that good. Your hotels, you're going to be able to step out and see the beautiful countryside elevating up. It's remarkable. I mean, I was blown away by this. This is one I'm guilty to, and I think it's a great example. We always say that we're always going to visit California or we're always going to go to the Southwest US. You know, we've always had that on our bucket list. But there's so many great places in the world. 
But now is a great time to not put that trip off and book it and take that trip to explore your own backyard. So again, this tour, let's talk about it here, starting and ending in Boston again, and tracing the steps of all those who have come before us. So maybe, you know, learning about the legends of Paul Revere or John Adams and Benjamin Franklin, of course, getting out onto these highways and see these beautiful striking coastlines as well. You've got the Rocky Headlands that we visit as part of Acadia National Park with this one as well. In Newport, Rhode Island, really cool experience there to explore Vanderbilt's mansion. And that town is remarkable too. It has a wonderful lighthouse right there in Newport. And of course, my favorite food we include as part of this tour, it's an optional with Cosmos, we include a lobster bake as well. Get out and do this one. I have this on my list. This one does sell out pretty far in advance. So if this is something you're interested, reach out to your advisor there at First Travel because they would love to share that with you. Again, local favorite that we talk about. We're not gonna just visit Acadia National Park as part of this classic fall foliage tour, but you are gonna get to experience a classic popover. And how does this sound for a perfect cold winter night here in Minnesota? Some seafood chowder at the historic Astiku Inn as part of this tour. So take a look at that tour. This next tour, really unique. And I love sharing about this one. This is historic trains of the old west. So maybe you are a rail enthusiast, or maybe you're just looking for a vacation that's a little bit different. You're look, looking for something kind of, you know, beaten off the path to see really that untouched area that America has to offer, or maybe you just want to go back in time. This tour is perfect for you. It is a nine-day trip, and your, some of the unique train experiences or trips that you're going to get to visit would be on some of these iconic railroads sprinkled throughout this region there uh, in the Southwest. So you're looking at a trolley ride in Santa Fe, multiple national park visits. You've got uh, Mesa Verde National Park is just one of them that you'll get to visit as part of this tour. But then you have some time in Santa Fe and Taos as well to explore the beautiful towns there and take in their cathedrals, the missions that are uh, famous in this region and then the local art scene, which is really unique down here. Local favorites that we include as part of this tour would be experiencing the tra spiritual traditions of the American Southwest at Chamayo for an authentic New Mexico tradition. And how about this, an overnight stay at the gorgeous and historic Hotel Colorado located in Glenwood Springs. Now I know there's a first travel advisor, she's down in the Southwest right now, and I saw she did a hot air balloon ride over Phoenix the other morning. It was so cool to see her pictures and video. But what's unique about this itinerary, you can be just like Amy and you can book this tour in conjunction with the Albuquerque Balloon Fest. That has always been something I've been interested in as well. So you can add that on to Historic Trains of the Old West. You can add on Albuquerque Balloon Fest as well. Cool opportunity there. And again, Garden of the Gods is something you'll visit as part of this tour out in Colorado. It is magnificent. It's even better in person. I promise you that. But you're going to have a guided visit here to the Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs to see it up close and personal. All right, this next one, I may be a little biased on, but I think this is the showstopper and something that I tell everybody you need to experience. So this is uh, Nature's Best Alaska. This is our seven day tour. I did our 10 day tour and the only really big difference being that it goes over to Valdez and you have an additional cruise on the Prince William Sound over there. But if you have not done Alaska or you've you know, done it via cruise, people don't even realize land is an option to tour through Alaska. It is really magnificent and I'm so excited to kind of highlight some of the uh, stays that you'll experience, the sightseeing excursions, the food that you get to experience. If you do this tour, I promise you this tour, you will absolutely rave about if you do it yourself. So this one, again, seven day trip starts up there in the North of Alaska and see in Fairbanks and then works its way down into Anchorage. But there is so many sites and activities that are included as part of this tour, just some of them. 
You've got a scenic uh, steamwheeler cruise up on the Chain River in Fairbanks, where you'll see a float plane demonstration, a mushing, mushing demonstration, and then you're also taken into a, a local kind of uh, makeshift Athabascan village, but where you learn from local Athabascan uh, Indians about their traditions and things like that. It's just phenomenal. Also in Fairbanks, you'll get to go to uh, Gold Dredge number eight and pan for gold. Really, really cool. You're going to have dinner and a presentation by a naturalist at the Mary Science and Learning Center there uh, in Denali upon your arrival. A highlight for many people, and I'll tell you, we got to watch uh, mom and her cub wrestle and she uh, fed him. You've got a full day tundra wilderness tour as part of your visit to Denali National Park. You also get to visit a uh, dog sled kennel, home to an Iditarod champion. One of the highlights for me is a scenic rail ride, a railroad ride, excuse me, on the Alaska Rail between, in this case, uh, Denali and Talkeetna. Talkeetna is not a town visit on the 10 day one, but that's really, really cool. You've got a meal included and some wonderful drinks and you've got a domed car to look out and take in all the beauty as part of uh, that adventure. You also have a six hour cruise on the Kenai Fjords National Park go out and see a uh, Holgate Glacier. Really, really remarkable opportunity there. The hotels here, and I think I, I really wanna stress this too, because the hotels in Alaska are not five-star what you're expecting down here as part of the lower 48, but the hotels that we pick, again, they are the best that Alaska has to offer, but really authentic feeling hotels up in this region. It's a cool experience, and I think you would agree if, if you are fortunate enough to go on one of these tours. I cannot recommend this enough, so go and do this. As part of this tour here, we stay in Talkeetna, and the highlight there is the Talkeetna Alaskan Lodge has a beautiful lobby, and you can actually see on a great day, clear weather-wise, uh, Mount Denali from the lobby of the hotel. You also, in Anchorage, you'll stay at the Sheraton right downtown, take in some seafood. If you wanna to go to a lo local restaurant, you can do that. Or there's a Anchorage Museum right across the street as well. But this one too also has some free time. So you can do a salmon bake in Fairbanks, which is included in the 10 day, really, really cool. You can do a rafting trip on the Ninana River uh, in Denali. You can do fly fishing, a wilderness walking tour with a guide in Denali. Flight seeing, and I'll tell you that was probably the most popular optional excursion that people did as part of the tour, but every person came back raving about it. So this one, I cannot say enough good things about Alaska. I have pictures and I have memories that will last a lifetime. So we are winding down here. So as part of this tour, again, just some of the highlights here, but Denali National Park and Denali is North America's highest peak at a whopping 20,320 feet. So you've got that. And then of course, all the vast landscape that the park has in, within its 6 million acres. Another highlight too, this cruise in Seward here, you're gonna see uh, otters, you're gonna see puffins, potentially some whales. I haven't seen the orcas up in this region, but that's really, really something I wanna see. So you've got that. The wildlife is, is remarkable. Go out and see the, um, the Holgate Glacier. You take a beautiful ride. The, the drive down from Anchorage to Seward is remarkable. It's called the Turnigan Arm. The scenery is remarkable right there. But then you have your six, six uh, hour cruise on the Kenai Fjords National Park area, Resurrection Bay, things like that. So if the last is not on your list, put it there. If it is, go because you will not regret it. So number one here on our list, America's National Parks. So this really is a perfectly planned 10 day vacation. Again, starting out in Rapid City, ending in Salt Lake City. Just like the Cosmos itinerary, you can start in Denver with one additional night uh, if you would like to do that as well. This tour though, again, so much the Cosmos ones, it does incorporate the wild, wild west. You've got the beautiful mountains, the glaciers, the geysers, memorials, spectacular views, great stories. Right there, I think that explains why it is the number one uh, pick here for Globus, our, our top selling vacations as well. As part of this one, and this sounds mighty tasty, we have the Jackson Lake Lodge and Huckleberry Shake that we include as part of um, the tour here. It's a local favorite. So at Grand Teton National Park, you can sit out here and have a freshly made local 
huckleberry shape. That sounds pretty tasty to me. So another local favorite we include there too is the uh, covered wagon ride and cookout and a Wild West shell. So pictured here is Cash Creek Canyon just south, outside of uh, Jackson. So you've got a covered wagon ride and then a chuck wagon cookout capped off with a Wild West shell. Perfect way to wrap up that vacation. Now, just briefly, because I could talk to you for hours more about our product here in North America, but I want to get you on uh, with your evening. But newest and greatest, and you'll be hearing more about this uh, with Burst Travel, is our Undiscovered series. So if you want to get into the smaller, kind of less explored areas of the U.S., we have that available to you. So we have one in the Pacific Northwest. You're going to go from Seattle to Portland and explore those coastal towns, Crater Lake National Park. Maybe you want to do California. We've got Southern California Charms or a new one, Lost Canyons of the Southwest. We have Bourbon Bridles and Bluegrass new down in the Kentucky, Tennessee uh, region. So you're going to go to Lexington, get some bourbon tasting, go to a retired thoroughbred farm. If you can imagine it, we, can, we have something that will satisfy your uh, desire to get out and explore your own backyard here in the U.S. We also have choice touring as well. We have six itineraries that cover North America, two being East and West Canada, and then four here within the U.S. Now, these are unique. Again, your Burst Travel Advisor can share more on these, but there is included choices for you to do. So there's a lot more. Uh, it's not just sightseeing as part of these tours. Maybe in a destination you're going to be kayaking, or we've got food tours, we've got brewery tours, we have gondola rides to the top of mountains, you can go out with a naturalist and learn how uh, the plants there are used as medicinal purposes, make your own ointment and take it home with you. You can be escorted by representatives from the Ansel Adams Photography Gallery and learn about photography and get that perfect uh, shot to take home and have framed. So again, bring those memories home with you. So your Burst Travel Advisor is the expert on all things Globus Family of Brands. Reach out to them for more information. I hope this has inspired you. And I also want to share a special thank you for uh, coming this evening. So for those of you who have, if you do book and deposit on a vacation with the Globus Family of Brands within two weeks from today, I have a special savings of $50 off per person on select vacations. How about that? Because of our relationship, and I'll turn my camera on here too so you can see me, I'm not just talking aimlessly now, but as part of um, our relationship with Burst Travel, they are the best of the best. They have exclusive offers that you cannot get if you are booking on your own or you are trying to book somewhere else. So make sure you contact Burst Travel for all of your travel needs. They are the experts and they will get you booked. You know what Gretchen, the hardest part of, of a vacation is? Coming home. Oh. Deciding, deciding which one to do too, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you after this presentation, it is remarkable. I, I can't help but just think about everything that Globus and Cosmos includes, mm -hmm. thinks of, makes it so easy for everybody to just sit back, know you're seeing the highlights, know you're getting some unique adventures, know mm -hmm. you're staying at well-vetted hotels, um, knowing that you don't have to drive. It's just amazing. It, it's just, it is the way to travel nowadays. I, I really believe that and so many great choices. So totally. that's it. The hardest thing is where should we go? But yeah. Uh, and you know, the hardest part too for putting this together, I'm like, how do I put a top 10 together? You know, there's so many amazing places. So I just want that to be known too. So if you saw something that wasn't pictured here, I promise you we have it. So if it's, you know, California or, you know, down in New Orleans, Mississippi, we've got that. You can do all over the Southwest, the Northeast, Canada, whatever, you name it, reach out again to your Burst Travel Advisor because this is only a sampling of what we do have to offer. And just to reiterate that about reaching out to your Burst Travel mm -hmm. um, Advisor, um, if you know your Burst Travel Advisor's email, that's the easiest way to reach them. Um, if not, you can call the office. Um, if you don't know the phone number, you can go to our Burst uh, uh, Travel website. All the locations are listed there with the phone numbers, or there's the form on there that's a contact us form. You can fill it out with some ideas, questions, and, uh, and send that off to, um, to that location. 
um, or you can stop in. We, we have limited hours in some of our locations, um, so it's always best to call first or to email if you work directly with one of the advisors. Mm -hmm. um, that's um, the best way to reach them. But again, thank you, Matt, for everything. Thank you for that great offer. Um, that's a nice, nice uh, little added extra to mm -hmm. uh, booking one of these tours. And one thing you did say too is about how this stuff does sell out. Um, we yes. are finding that travel is surging <laughs> again and mostly domestic mm -hmm. travel for this summer. So yeah. if you're thinking about booking something, don't hesitate. Now is the time to get that booked. Yeah, I mean, especially with the backlog of the pandemic, right? So people have been moving these vacations forward for two years, so you're kind of already limited, you know, already. So that's a great point, Gretchen. Don't wait, because we would hate for you to, you know, be working with your uh, birth travel advisor, and then they say, darn it, you know, we waited too long, and it's now sold out uh, for this tour, so we'll have to pick something else. And on top of that, Gretchen, if you don't mind, I just want to, you know, put, uh, if I could, Stand up, standing ovation. It wouldn't be very loud, just me. But um, Burst Travel is standing ovation to everything you guys have done for your clients throughout this pandemic. And to everybody listening, please recommend your travel advisor to your friends, to your families. This has been the hardest time ever, I promise you, in your travel advisor's career. And we need to do everything we can do to stand behind them and support them. They have never, they've always been valuable, but they've never been more valuable in helping you, you know, keep track of local rules and regulations that are ever changing, even in the United States. They've got added value because they're gonna call, they're gonna book your trip with us. If there's anything that pops up, they're gonna call for us, they're gonna hold for you. You don't have to do that. They're gonna take care of everything for you. They've got the perfect itinerary for you. So maybe you say, this is what I want, they say, listen, I've got the perfect trip with Globus with you, and I can book that for you. So do everything in your power. Send all that business to your Burst Travel Advisor because they are there to support you, and their value has never been more evident in this industry. So Gretchen, and I know Lara's listening in, and, and Lee, uh, when you watch this back, thank you for everything you've done for the travel industry. And you guys really are the, the best of the best for your clients. They're very fortunate to be working with you. Well, thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. No truer words were spoken. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been um, easy, but, but it's been worth it, right? <laughs> but in, in that vein, um, this has been recorded and it will go mm -hmm. on um, the Burst Travel website under services, under travel seminars, and we'll also have a, U it'll be on YouTube. So if you have friends or family that couldn't make it, that you're excited about one of these options, have them take a listen and then you can visit about it and then reach out to your Burst Travel um, advisor. And also, as Matt said, check out our Facebook page. We've got some great videos on there. Like we said, Leah's out there right now. And a lot of our advisors are submitting um, pictures and videos from their trips. So it just makes it that much more fun. I don't see any questions in the chat box. I, I, if anybody has anything, you can throw something in there um, mm -hmm. or even just ask me to unmute you and I can unmute you. Um, but otherwise, I think... We spent a lot of your time tonight. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I think it was well worth well worth the investment of time and probably is your head is swimming with all these great <laughs> options. So reach out to us and everybody have a lovely evening. And um, again, thank you, Matt. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, everybody. Bye -bye. Take care and stay warm. Yep. Bye-bye.